Hey to that, welcome to this video. We're gonna go straight into the two five ones through every key, once and for all, you're going to master them. Finally, finally, you're gonna get them all down. Same chord, both hands, no inversions, nothing fancy, no fancy chords, no rhythm, no games, nothing. Just your two, five, ones in every key root position. Same chord in both hands. I'll go chromatically from C all the way up to B. You can play them how you want. You can personalize the whole thing. I'm just gonna play them so you can get them into your fingers and brain. Starting on C, so D minor seven, D, F, A, C. G7, G, B, D, F, C major 7, C, E, G, B. And if you want to, on each one you can resolve the 7, the major 7, a whole step down to the 6th, because it just sounds nice. So I'm probably going to do that just to make it sound a bit more you know, pleasant. Next one, let's call it D flat. If you call it C sharp, you'll label it accordingly. So D flat is going to give you E flat minor 7, E flat, G flat, B flat, D flat. Play the chord anywhere on the piano because the whole piano is the chord when you're playing it. A flat seven, A flat C, E flat, G flat. D flat major seven, D flat F, A flat C, resolving it down to a B flat. We've got to the key of D now, so that's E minor seven, E G B D, A seven, A C sharp, E G. D major 7, D F sharp, A C sharp, and the result to a B if you want, 6. E flat, so F minor 7, F A flat, C E flat, same chord both hands. B flat 7, B flat D F A flat, E flat major 7, E flat G B flat D. Put a little C on the top of the 6 again. Up to uh, E now, so F sharp minor 7. F sharp, A, C sharp, E. B7. B, B sharp, F sharp, A. E major 7. E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Result to a C sharp on top of your own. Key of F, so G minor 7. G, B flat, D, F. C7. C, E, G, B flat. Major 7, F, A, C, E, resolve to a D. In F sharp, or G flat, let's call it A flat minor 7, so we'll call it G flat, so A flat is the second, A flat minor 7, A flat, C flat, C flat, not B, C flat, E flat, G flat, uh, D flat 7, so D flat, uh, F, A flat, B, and uh, G flat major 7. Key of uh, G now, so A minor 7, A, C, E, G. D7, D flat, sorry, D, F sharp, A, C. And G major 7, G, B, D, F sharp. Resolve to an E, another 6. Key of A flat, so B flat, minor 7, B flat, D flat, F, A flat. Give A, so that's going to be B minor 7. B, D, F sharp, A. E7. E, G sharp, B, D. And A major 7. A, C sharp, E, G sharp. Move on to the F sharp if you want. Just a whole step lower. Give B flat here, so C minor 7. C. E flat, G, B flat. F7, F, A, C, E flat. B flat, major 7. B flat, D, F, A. Resolve to a G. Onto the key of B, so C sharp, minor 7. C sharp, E, G sharp, B, F sharp, 7. Sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E. 
B major 7. Really nice shape to play. B major 7 1. B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Resolve to the G sharp if you want. And then you're back to C again. That's it. Once you've got your major scale mastery down, jump onto those two five ones. It's going to help you with all your repertoire. Try to do it away from the piano as well. Try to visualize it. And each time you're playing a two five one, put your mind in the key that you're in so that you can see yourself playing the chord in that key. For example, very quickly, if I play G minor seven, the minor seven chord type, when it comes to all these chords, can be the second, the th third, or the sixth of its respective keys. So if I just play any any, any minor seven chords, so I'm just taking G minor seven as an example, that's the second of F. So it feels to me when I'm in the key of F that I'm playing the second. It's just one away from the root. It's quite close to home. If you play it in the key, it's very close by. But it's also the third, and G is the third of E flat. So when I'm playing it now, I feel like I'm just a bit further away from home. It's further away. But from, here, from F, you see, it's just, it sounds different. It's the second of F. Now, G is also the sixth of B flat, so it's very far away from B flat. So when I'm seeing G minor seven, and it's, the piece of music is in the key of B flat, very, very far away. Listen to this. do it from the third and the second you see big big difference so when you hear a minor seven chord you can just hear whether it's in as as the second third or sixth just a little idea and when you play a major seven it can be one or four the dominant seven is always five um, and it gets more complicated. I have other videos on that, of course, but um, just think about the key that you're in when you're playing uh, any chord type. It will really help you to master the major scales and see the shapes. Uh, it's very, very useful for orientation. There you go. As always, hope it's very useful. As always, like to comment, subscriptions are always welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Waterpinism Syllabus, that's Patreon, and uh, all my playlists. Request welcome to your next video. All the best. Bye for now.